Hey guys and welcome to this game. I was just checking the comment section under my last video and I realized that Cloth 3 is out and I decided to record this very quick video comparing the outputs of the recently tested GPT-4 Turbo Cloth 2.1 and Mistral Large to the new Cloth 3.0 Opus model which is only available to pro users and Anthropic did a lot of tests and apparently Opus is the LLM to beat so it outperforms both GPT-4 and Gemini Ultra and Pro in a bunch of tests and for what I watch on YouTube it's amazing at image recognition and we will be testing that in the upcoming videos, not today. So before I record a self-sufficient comprehensive review, I just wanted to test out the outputs real quick. And for this we need to go back to our previous test. So we tested a sequence prompt and we tested an SEO article and these were the results. Let's do this again, but with Claude. So now when you go to Claude, the design has slightly changed, but now if you insert your prompt like so, now you have a choice of different models. So the Sonnet one is faster, the Opus one is more robust and intelligent. So let's test that out. And it is still not connected to the internet and it is the position of Anthropic. So the way the sequence prompt works is that you get the 10 popular questions on a topic and then I ask it to write an article for each and every question, effectively creating an outline. And then the article is 500 words each. So if you, if you combine everything, you get one giant article. And this is the only known to me way of creating 5,000 word one-click articles. I don't know any other way of doing that, other than just writing section by section, but then that would defy the purpose. And it's pretty fast. So it's up to Article 3. Okay, so it stopped uh, on Article 7, and it should probably finish everything up now. We are up to Article 8, two to go. And in my testing, I got to almost 5,000 words. Let's see how many this is going to be. Okay. So let's see the word count. So I'm actually very curious. Let's not include the initial questions. And we are at 5,160 words. Of course, there's going to be some formatting, but this is easily beyond 5,000 words. Amazing, amazing. This is 5160. Now to the second test. And to retrace the steps again for those of you watching for the first time, what I did, I went to NeuroWriter, I pick a keyword, which is does agility writer pass AI detection. I created an outline, like so. I then went to terms, future them by unused, copied the extended terms, then basic terms. This way there is no overlap. And I copied everything to a template. This was a template. Using mark markdown formatting, bolded words, lists, and tables, write a 2000 word article based on the below outline. This is the outline in an HTML format. Use 100% of the below LLP keywords. And finally, make sure to include three to five relevant internal links from links.txt. And this is a file I created from my own sitemap. So let's test this, this out. Let me clear everything here. The default score is 21. Let's go to Clot, new chat, Opus model. And let's just make sure I'm attaching the links.txt. That's the one. And let's go. So this is a new sidebar that I haven't seen before, which basically tells us which model we are using and whether there are any attached files or materials. One thing that I need to mention for articles like this, they have to be factually correct. And again, Claude says that Claude does not have internet access. Links provided may not be accurate or up to date. So I'm waiting for perplexity to actually include Claude 3. I don't have any information about when or how or if. But uh, that's going to be a game changer as far as SEO and content creation goes. So I would assume that uh, Perplexity and Cloth3 is going to be a very powerful combo. Okay, let's copy this. So we got some internal links. This one here is leading to my blog, to so copywriting frameworks. This one is leading to a comparison between agility and autoblogging. And this one is actually is uh, leading to a review. The link is not the best. This one is uh, pretty good. So we got four links, three of them were relevant. 
Let's see what the SEO score is. And the SEO score is 85. So it was able to match cloth 2.1, which I would expect it to. What about the word count? Word count is 1669, so a longer output. So I'm basically comparing these to Cloud 2.1. How about readability? Again, I did not prompt for improved readability, but still. Oh, so readability is grade 15. Not great. We didn't get any external links and uh, only perplexity does that. So Cloud would not do it by default. We got the internal links, so yes to internal links. And I'm pretty sure that's going to tank as far as AI detection, but since this is Cloud 3, maybe we'll get a nice surprise. So let's check it with the standard model first. Oh, 0% original. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Now it doesn't have any... It does make sense to check it with the 3.0. So to sum up, longest output for the sequence prompt. Longest output for the word count of the SEO optimized article, highest SEO score, worst readability, correctly, somewhat correctly attributed and uh, inserted internal links, no external links, uh, failed AI detection. And once again, I'm actually excited for Perplexity to include this in, into their array of models and LLMs. I will be waiting for that. But for now, play around with it. And before you go, Check Vast Universe for the exclusive discounts and deals. And also, every blogging endeavor starts with choosing the right niche. So I have created a unique course called Niche Hunter, 13 ways of finding low competition profitable niches, and a unique niche scoring tool that I have just released. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.